Welcome back to The Learning Den. Today, uh, we're going to be diving deep into something that might seem kind of ordinary at first. But believe me, it's far from it. The Earth's tilt. You know how our planet has that slight lean? Right. Turns out it's not just some random thing from space. It's like super important to us being alive. Yeah, it's really interesting how something so simple can have such a big impact. Totally. Like we usually think about the Earth's tilt because of seasons, but it's way more than that. It yeah. shapes our climate and even how life evolved and makes it possible for us to be here. Okay, so let's go way back, like billions of years, to see how we got this tilt in the first place. Mm. I heard something about a huge crash with a Mars-sized thing. You got it. Imagine the early solar system. It's all chaotic, swirling dust and gas. Planets are forming, there's asteroids flying around, it's just a mess. And then boom, this Mars-sized thing called Thaya just slams right into Earth. It wasn't a little bump, it was a full-on planetary smash-up. Whoa, I'm trying to picture that. It must have been something else to see if anyone was around back then. But how do we even know this happened? It sounds like a sci-fi movie. It does sound wild, but the proof is pretty convincing. Okay. Scientists have looked at what the Earth's crust and the Moon's crust are made of, and they found they're surprisingly similar. Ah. It's like finding two puzzle pieces that fit perfectly. The best explanation we have is that both the Earth and the Moon form from the stuff left over after that massive crash. So this Sia thing comes along, smashes into Earth, and knocks us off balance. Literally. Mm. But did that right away give us the 23.4 degree tilt we have now? Was it that simple? Not exactly. Right after the impact, the Earth's tilt was probably super unstable, swinging back and forth like crazy because of the pull from other planets and things in space. Imagine a spinning top wobbling just before it falls. That's kind of what early Earth was like. Wow. So how did we go from that wobbling, unstable planet to the pretty stable tilt we have today? Well, that's where our friend the moon steps in. As the moon formed from all the debris after that crash, its gravity started to act like a steadying force, slowly calming down Earth's crazy wobbles. Oh, so the moon is like our cosmic babysitter, keeping us in check and making sure we don't tilt too much one way or the other. Uh-huh. Yeah, that's a good way to put it. Nice. Over billions of years, the moon's gravity has helped settle Earth into that 23.4 degree tilt we see today. It's not perfectly fixed, though. There's still a tiny wobble that happens over thousands of years called Milankovitch cycles. But for the most part, the moon keeps us nice and comfortable in this sweet spot. That's amazing. This is already blowing my mind, and we're just getting started. Yeah. So we have this tilt because of a cosmic billiards game billions of years ago. Yeah. And the moon keeps us pretty stable. But what does this have to do with life on Earth? Why is this tilt so important? That's the key point, right? It's not just some random space fact. It's the reason we have seasons. Right. But seasons, as you know, are way more than just the weather changing. All right, let's break that down a bit. I know seasons affect things like farming in our daily lives, but I'm curious about the bigger picture. Sure. Because of the tilt, different parts of Earth get different amounts of sunlight all year round. When the northern hemisphere tilts toward the sun, it's summer up there, while down south, it's winter. And as Earth keeps orbiting, the whole thing reverses. Right, so it's not just the temperature, but the angle the sunlight hits different parts of the planet and how long those places have daylight. But how does that affect life on Earth in general? Well, think about it this way. The cycle of seasons pretty much drives everything in nature. It affects when plants grow, makes animals migrate, controls when they have babies, and shapes whole ecosystems and food chains. It's like this hidden force controlling the whole show of life on Earth, and we don't even realize it's there. But what if that force was gone? What if Earth wasn't tilted at all? That's where things get really interesting and maybe a little scary. Imagine a world without seasons, with no change in sunlight during the year. It would have a huge effect, not just on the climate, but on whether complex life could even evolved in the first place. Okay, now I'm really hooked. Let's explore that what if world, shall we? I'm ready to see what Earth might be like without its tilt. All right, so let's imagine this other reality where Earth just spins straight up, no tilt at all. What kind of world are we talking about? Hmm. I'm picturing a planet where, like, every day feels exactly the same. The sun's always in the same spot and weather barely changes. Mm -hmm. It sounds kind of boring, honestly. Exactly. And that lack of change of seasons would totally change how life works. Remember how we talked about seasons being like the driving force behind those natural cycles? Yeah. Without them, things would look a whole lot different. So no more spring flowers or colorful leaves in the fall or those crazy migrations animals do. Nope. It's like the world is just frozen in time. Yeah. But how would that affect how life actually developed? 
Could complex life even exist without those changes from the seasons? That's the big question, right? And scientists who study evolution have been trying to figure that out for ages. There's a good argument that without Earth's tilt, without those challenges and changes from seasons, life wouldn't have had the same push to evolve, to adapt, to get more complex. That's like that saying, you got to work for what you want. Yeah. But for life on Earth, it's more like environmental changes make evolution happen. Mm. If everything stays the same, there's no need to change to find new ways to survive. Exactly. Think about all the different kinds of life we see on Earth today. Oh, yeah. From the tiniest little things to giant whales, everything has evolved in special ways to live in its environment. And a lot of those ways of adapting are because of the changing seasons. Wow. So if we go way back to when Earth was young, before that Theia thing hit us and tilted us, maybe our planet would be totally different. Yeah, it's a real possibility. Without the tilt and the changes from the seasons, life on Earth might have stayed pretty simple. Maybe just single-celled organisms or very basic multicellular life, that huge explosion of different life forms leading to plants and animals and eventually us might never have happened. That's kind of crazy to think about. Hmm. Everything we know, the amazing diversity of life, might exist because of a random space crash billions of years ago. It really puts things in perspective, doesn't it? It makes you realize how our place in the universe is because of this long, complicated chain of events that we had no control over. It also makes you realize how powerful even small changes can be. Totally. Like a little tilt here, a cosmic bump there, and suddenly the whole story of life on a planet changes completely. Absolutely. And it shows how important it is to understand our planet's history. It's not just about knowing stuff, but about understanding our place in the grand scheme of things. For sure. So we've talked about this hypothetical Earth without a tilt, and it sounds kind of depressing, at least for complex life like us. Yeah. But what about the Earth we know today? Yeah. What if Earth just suddenly lost its tilt right now? Like, poof, no more tilt. Ah, uh, the ultimate what if. Get ready, because things would get pretty crazy. Okay, I'm bracing myself. Walk me through this planetary disaster. What happens if our tilt just disappears? Okay, so the first thing, and the most obvious, is that we wouldn't have seasons anymore. Right. No more crisp fall days, no more hot summer nights, just the same weather all the time. But it's not just that. Yeah, I bet. We talked about how important those seasonal changes are for ecosystems. What would happen to those perfectly balanced systems if everything just stopped changing? Total chaos. Imagine birds that migrate following those routes they've learned over thousands of years based on the seasons. Right. Suddenly their internal compass wouldn't work anymore, and plants that rely on temperature changes to flower or spread their seeds would be all messed up. Entire food chains, carefully balanced for millions of years, would fall apart as the things they depend on disappear. Yikes. It's like a chain reaction of ecological disaster. And what about the climate itself? We talked about the equator always being hot and the poles always being cold and a world without a tilt. Would that happen if we suddenly lost our tilt? Absolutely. No. Without the tilt spreading out the sun's energy across the planet, we'd see super extreme climates. Oh, wow. The equator would be blasted with sunlight all the time, turning it into a scorching desert where almost nothing could survive. It's hard to imagine anything living in that kind of heat. And what about the poles? Would they get even colder and more inhospitable than they are now? Exactly. The poles would be stuck in a permanent deep freeze, dark for half the year, and getting only weak, low-angle sunlight for the other half. Those temperate zones, the places that have a nice, mild climate because of the tilt, would disappear. So we're talking about a world with two extremes and nothing in between. Not exactly a great place for life to thrive. But what about us humans? We're pretty adaptable, right? Yeah. Could we survive in a world like that? That's the big question, right? Could humans, like, with all our smarts and ability to adapt, survive such a huge change to our planet? I mean, we've built cities in deserts and lived in mountains, even gone to space. We could figure something out, couldn't we? Well, it definitely wouldn't be easy. Our whole civilization is built around seasons. Like, think about farming, water, energy, all that stuff. It all depends on this balance we have. Yeah. If that balance was gone, the results would be, well, unimaginable. So no more fresh produce from the farmer's market, no more swimming in the ocean on a hot day, and maybe even no more pumpkin spice lattes. Right. This is starting to sound less like a minor problem than more like, oh, no, we're all going to die. 
Yeah, it's not just about missing out on our favorite things. We're talking about crops failing, huge droughts, problems with trade, and maybe even wars over things like water and food. Wow. Our whole society would be pushed to the limit. It's a scary thought. But would there be any way to adapt? I mean, humans are pretty clever. We've got advanced technology. We know about climate change. Couldn't we, like, soften the blow somehow? There's always hope. And in this crazy scenario, maybe some groups of people could survive. Imagine underground cities powered by heat from the earth, giant indoor farms growing food all year round, and super advanced systems to control the temperature inside those spaces. So like living in a giant bubble cut off from the outside world. Exactly. But let's be real, only a small, lucky group could live like that. For most people, losing Earth's tilt would be too much to handle, an event that would completely change human history, maybe even wipe us out as a species. That's a sobering thought. We usually worry about asteroids or volcanoes ending the world. But it turns out something as simple as Earth's tilt is just as important for us to be here. It shows that we're not as in control as we think we are. We're part of this huge interconnected web of life. And even a small change in one thing can shake up the whole system. Well, I don't think I'll ever look at the changing seasons the same way again. Yeah. It's not just the weather changing. It's a reminder of the incredible journey our planet has been on and how fragile that balance is that keeps life going. That's a great way to put it. And maybe it's a wake-up call, too. The more we understand about our planet, the better we can protect it and make sure life keeps going with all its amazing diversity. Absolutely. That's a perfect note to end on. So next time you're enjoying a warm spring day or the beautiful colors of fall, remember that it's all thanks to that crash billions of years ago and our steady friend, the moon. And maybe take a second to appreciate that delicate balance that makes it all possible. It's definitely something to think about. And that wraps up our deep dive into the Earth's tilt. We hope you learned something new and interesting today. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and tell your friends about the Learning Den for more explorations into the wonders of our universe.